Hey guys, we're gonna do a test video here. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about doing videos, the challenges of moving from, or actually incorporating videos. I know I promised a lot of you, or everyone, more videos this year, but it's been really hard because I'm not a vlogger. Um, and actually I have a full-time job which is not blogging and I'm a mommy. So yeah, but I wanna keep my word, so I'm just gonna try to do some really informal type videos like this one um, in my apartment or just around Paris from time to time. I don't know what form it's gonna take, how long it's gonna be, how I'm gonna be, um, but I've received the message loud and clear, you want more videos and I'm here to give it to you. So basically I wanted to start off by talking about September in Paris. September in Paris, I've put up this blog post about all the amazing places that are new in Paris um, and all the things that are actually worth checking out, you know, like not everything that's new is good. And also I wanna talk about what's going on right now in terms of La Rentrée. La Rentrée is like the back to school time in France and everybody goes crazy about it, not just parents. I have a son. I mean, it's also like a time of year where a lot of people rework their their goals for the year. It's like a new start, like a new year, personally and professionally. And so it's a big time of year and you can feel that energy in Paris, especially at the beginning of September every year. So La Rentrée is crazy, it's back. Everyone's back from vacation, really tanned and pissed off to be back in Paris, but you know, such is life. Um, and so there are a few things I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about some exciting places. So there's this new amazing hotel called the Hoxton, which just opened in Le Sentier. Le Sentier is known as being like the startup central part of Paris. So they call it the Silicon Sentier, which is kind of like a play on words for like the Silicon Valley, of like the tech companies in the US. It's a lot smaller, but it's cute. And so the Hoxton has opened there. They have 174 rooms, a really nice like open space terrace. And yeah, it's really cool. I'm not sure if the prices are um, a lot cheaper than the more established hotels, but you know, I think it's, it's worth checking out if you're looking for a trendy hotel to stay in Paris. So that's hotels. In terms of food for September, there's lots of new places or places that I haven't spoken about before, such as Yaya, which is actually not really in Paris. It's in Saint-Ouen, which is where you find like this iconic flea market, which is the, the Puce. Uh, and it's literally not too far from there, right next to the city hall of Saint-Ouen. They serve Mediterranean Greek food, it's really good. It's the same family that's behind Carios, which does this amazing olive oil. Um, so yeah, um, really, really good Mediterranean food at um, Yaya. The guys at Holly Belly have opened their um, second joint, which is literally just down the street and it's called Holly Belly 5 um, or Holly 5. I can't remember which one it is. But yeah, same good food, same street. I know a lot of us have been fans of Holly Belly, but don't, go out, don't quite go as often as we would like to go because of the lines. And so this is another opportunity to get all the goodness in another location right next door. Um, another place that I wanted to, to talk about for September is this really cool spot along the Seine River to have drinks and it's called uh, La Démesure sur Seine. So I might not be saying it right, but it's on the blog. You can check it out. The address is there and it tells you everything about what they do. Really nice tapas. They have a barbecue area good DJ uh, sessions right along the Seine, really nice place to go and just chill and meet people. Um, let's see, in terms of uh, art for September, September and October are actually the, the months of the year when we see a lot of new exhibitions coming out. My favorite one right now, which actually I haven't seen yet, so, but it's, it's still something that I've heard really good things about, is the, the Dior exhibition that's going on right now. So if you guys are fans of Christian Dior or anything that's, you know, aesthetic, I'd say it's really worth uh, putting that on your to-do list. 
Um, so my good friend Heidi from Women of Paris is running this GoFundMe campaign and it's about supporting her goal of bringing to light more of the historical aspect of Paris in relation to, or just France in relation to, to women. And so the Women of Paris uh, tour that she runs is an amazing initiative, but um, you know, as an entrepreneur, sometimes you can have hiccups along the way and you want to go further. So she's running a GoFundMe. More information about that is also on the blog. Go check it out uh, and support Women of Paris. Um, my other pal, um, Cheryl, who does uh, videos on YouTube as a vlogger. Cheryl has Nonstop Paris and she's going to be having a meetup on the 16th of September in Tudor Gardens at around noon. So if you're in Paris and you want to meet new people, um, you know, I'm going to be there as well for a bit. So come out and say hi to Cheryl. She is wonderful. And there's going to be other bloggers there as well. Um, I also will be having our monthly coffee meetup. I think I'm going to be having it on the 26th uh, at Bob's Bake Shop uh, here. Uh, in Paris. The monthly meetup for My Parisian Life is a really casual place for us to get together and just meet either people who've been living in Paris for a long time or people who are fresh to the city and just chill and talk and have like this really comfortable free space to ask a lot of questions that you might think are actually quite um, stupid, you know, or questions that you might feel like, okay, how do I put this um to, to to somebody else you know it's a really safe space but also a fun space to to connect as well and so that coffee meetup is going to be happening at bob's bake shop on the 26th of september um i'll put more information about that on the blog and that's pretty much it for september am i forgetting anything mm, i don't know i probably am but um let's see how long this video is i'm gonna cut it now and oh yes there's gonna be a fashion week as well this month in september so if you're coming for fashion week there's also a post on that on just some of the places to discover when you come to paris for fashion week i've done fashion week many many years um since i've been living in paris i'm not doing it this year and um yeah some some nice gems places to 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 go and people watch to see and be seen uh, is on the blog and yeah so hopefully I'll see you guys soon I give you all a big bisou a bisou is like the um, the French kiss that you do on both cheeks I'm a big hugger naturally so being in France I, I love to give bisous um, yeah and I'll see you guys soon Mwah. bye <laughs>